Hey everybody, Scott here with the Trek Bike Store and ABC Bicycles, and today we are going to talk about e-bikes. Uh, there's two different thoughts on e-bikes. Some people that e-bike thinks e-bikes are set from above. Other uh, other people who call themselves purists think that bicycles uh, e-bikes come from below. I'm just kidding. But we're going to talk about a few different things on e-bikes. This is going to be kind of a a brush brush over kind of a quick walk through of the basics of e-bikes we're not going to talk about torque versus kilograms and weight versus this and that we're not we're not going to get in all, all the wattages of the motors and amp hours and things like that we're just going to kind of brush over some of the basics of e-bikes the questions that we get all the time and we would love to kind of share uh, those with you so first off we're going to talk about the trek and electric e-bikes so the big thing with Trek and Electra e-bikes is that all of the e-bikes that we manufacture are going to be pedal assist. Pedal assist e-bikes are really interesting because first off, you're getting that natural bicycling feel. At the end of the day, we're a bicycle company. We didn't want to kind of reinvent what Harley Davidson's doing. We don't want to make a motorcycle or anything. We just want to make a bicycle that feels like a bicycle and gets you further down the road, gets a little bit more wind blowing through your hair, has a little bit more fun. Maybe you can tow the kids to Clearwater Beach and you never thought that was possible, you know? That's that's what we're really uh, in this for and, and what we do with everything and that also motivates us with the e-bikes. So there's two main types of e-bikes that Trek and Electra manufacture. There's a rear drive and there's a mid drive. So this is a rear drive. This is the Townie Go 7D. This has a uh, drive in, well, the, the rear. <laughs> hence it being called a rear drive. So rear drive is just that. So the motor's in the back of the bike and it's pushing you forward. So this is a really cool system. We really like it because first off, it has a nice playful feel. Secondly, it gets the cost down a lot because we've been doing rear drive e-bikes for 15 or more years. So we've really kind of gotten them, gotten them down pat. We know everything about them. So we're able to keep the cost down on those. Uh, the only thing that we have a few people feel that pushes them maybe in another direction would be that on a rear drive, you do get that sensation of it pushing you forward and all the weights in the back. So that's just one thing to consider. Now on a mid drive, it's just the opposite. So just as the name implies, uh, the drive is coming from the middle of the bike. The cool thing about that is that that's naturally where humans are putting the power down. Think about it. When you're pushing on the bike, it's not the rear wheel that's propelling you forward. It's actually you pushing on the pedals and the pedals sending uh, energy back uh, on the chain to the rear wheel and that's propelling you forward. So that's exactly what's happening here. So it's kind of mimicking natural human riding. So it's going to feel way more natural. Um, it's not going to have that sensation of it pushing you forward. And if I can put my nerdy hat on just for 25 seconds, let me just talk to you about a few nerdy things why the mid drives are pretty interesting, especially the ones that we sell, which are the Bosch mid drives. German engineering, you gotta love it. The cool thing about the Bosch mid drives is that on a rear drive, you'll either have a cadence sensor or you'll have a speed sensor. And that'll be kind of dictating and letting the uh, the computer know, hey, this is how fast we need to go, this is how much power we need to put in. A cadence sensor is something that tracks how fast the pedals are spinning, and a speed sensor is telling uh, the bike how fast the bike's actually moving. So one additional sensor that the mid-drives have, they have a cadence sensor and they have a speed sensor, they also have a torque sensor. So torque sensors are really cool because as soon as you start to push down on that pedal, it starts to sense that and it gives you instant torque back. So it's almost simultaneously, you're feeling it right away. Where with a speed sensor or with a cadence sensor, you have to wait until that next revolution. You have to wait until that pedal comes back around for it to start getting signaled. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's a lot more natural, instantaneous thing. Obviously the weight is down low. Um, on this one, this also has our rib integrated battery. So it's integrated into the frame. So it's really nifty. Um, but yeah, mid drive's gonna get the weight low. It's uh, going to get it nice and centered in the bike. A little bit more of a natural feel. So those are the two main differences. Rear drive, a little bit lower cost, a um, little bit different feel to the bike. Mid drive's a little bit more expensive. However, a little bit more of a, a natural biking feel. 
So anyways, these are the two main e-bikes that we sell. We have a ton here in the shop that we would love for you to come in, take them for a test drive, talk to a sales associate if you have any questions, or if you'd like to send us an email or anything like that, please, we would love to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.